In the vast expanse of space aboard the intergalactic space habitat known as Nexus 7, two alien guards stood at their posts, their tentacles twitching with a mixture of anticipation and anxiety. Gzork, a seasoned xylophian with iridescent scales and four eye stalks, turned to his partner Blorp, a gelatinous globian whose translucent body pulsed with bioluminescent patterns. Can you believe it, Blorp? Gzork chittered, his scales shimmering with excitement. They're actually allowing humans to join our security detail. Blorp's body rippled with skepticism. I've heard strange things about these creatures. They say everything is a weapon to them. It's preposterous. Gzork's eye stalk swiveled, focusing intently on his partner. Oh, it's true. I've been studying their history. They live on a Hell World Class 11. Did you know they can turn a simple eating utensil into a deadly weapon? From generations of fight-or-flight existence, the Galactic Council have reassured us that they have evolved from their violent past, but I am not so sure about that. A utensil? Blorp's gelatinous form quivered with disbelief. Now you're just making things up. I'm serious, Gzork insisted, his scales flashing a vibrant blue. They call it a spoon. We need to confiscate all utensils from them immediately. Blorp's bioluminescent patterns flickered in amusement. Next, you'll be telling me they can weaponize the floor. Gzork's eye stalks perked up. Funny you should mention that. Have you seen the security footage from last week? No. What happened? Blorp asked. His curiosity peaked. A human got into an altercation with a Thralaxian, Gzork explained, his voice dropping to a conspiratorial whisper. A Thralaxian? Blorp's entire body pulsed with surprise. Those nine-foot-tall brutes in full body armor? The human must have been pulverized. Gzork's scales shifted to a deep purple, indicating his seriousness. That's what everyone thought. But the human did this bizarre move, using the Thralaxian's own weight against him. Suddenly the Thralaxian was airborne. And when he hit the floor... When he hit the floor... What? Blorp pressed, his gelatinous form stretching towards Gzork in anticipation. The impact broke his neck instantly. The human used the floor as a weapon. Blorp's tentacles curled in disbelief. That's impossible. How can a measly human defeat a Thralaxian using the floor? I don't know, but it happened, Gzork insisted. Now I'm wondering if we really want these humans working alongside us. Who knows what they might do with the rest of the habitat? As they continued their watch, both alien guards couldn't help but eye the floor beneath them with newfound suspicion, wondering what other mundane objects might become deadly in the hands of their new human colleagues. Their conversation was interrupted by the arrival of Captain Zilara, a towering Andromian with crystalline skin and a reputation for no-nonsense leadership. Gzork Blorp, I hope you're ready for your new teammates. The human security detail will be arriving shortly. Gzork's scales flickered nervously. Captain, with all due respect, are you sure this is wise? We've seen what these humans are capable of. Captain Zalara's crystalline features hardened. I'm aware of your concerns, Gzork, but the Intergalactic Council has made its decision. Humans are to be integrated into all aspects of space habitat operations, including security. It's our job to make this transition as smooth as possible, and besides, they have moved on past all that chaos in their history. And that footage you saw was a once-off situation, never to be repeated. Gzork and Blorp still had concerns as they exchanged confusing looks. As if on cue, the airlock hissed open, revealing a group of five humans in sleek, form-fitting uniforms. They strode into the room with an air of confidence that made Gzork's tentacles curl anxiously. The lead human, a tall female with close-cropped hair and piercing green eyes, stepped forward. Lieutenant Sarah Chen, reporting for duty, Captain Zalara. Captain Zalara nodded in acknowledgement. Welcome aboard, Lieutenant Chen. These are your new teammates, Gzork and Blorp. I trust you'll all work together harmoniously. Lieutenant Chen raised an eyebrow, her gaze sweeping across the habitat's common area. I couldn't help but notice some unusual features of this station. Where are all the utensils? And why are all the floors padded? Gzork and Blorp exchanged nervous glances, their respective physiologies betraying their discomfort. Gzork's scales shifted to a pale yellow, while Blorp's bioluminescent patterns flickered erratically. Oh, that? Gzork chittered, 
his voice an octave higher than usual. It's just a recent upgrade. You know, to ensure habitat safety. Can't be too careful in space, right? Blorp's gelatinous form rippled in agreement. Yes, yes, safety first. We wouldn't want anyone to slip and fall. The humans shared skeptical looks among themselves. Lieutenant Chen's lips curved into a slight smirk. Well, that's very thoughtful of you. But not to worry, we've come prepared. We've brought our own utensils and equipment. At this revelation, Xork's eye stalks went rigid with alarm, and Blorp's entire body seemed to quiver. The two alien guards locked gazes, a silent conversation passing between them. You. Brought your own? Xork managed to squeak out, his scales now a sickly green. Of course, replied one of the other humans, a burly man with a thick beard. He patted a compartment on his uniform. Standard issue multi-tool, spoon, fork, knife, can opener, the works. Never leave Earth without it. Oh, and I almost forgot, we brought a welcoming gift for you guys. Check it out, a baseball and some gloves. Xork and Blorp look at each other, then back to the humans. Blorp nervously asked, um, what exactly does it do? The human realizing that they had never heard of baseball laughed. Well, you put on the gloves and throw the ball to each other simple. Xork answered in a faint reply. Oh, I see. So it's not a weapon? The human's starting to giggle at this stage. No, it's for fun, you know, like a game. Xork still confused. Well, that sounds absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to try it. Looked back at Blorp with a puzzling glance. Blorp's bioluminescent patterns began to pulse rapidly, a clear sign of distress to those familiar with Globian physiology. That's, that's very resourceful of you, he stammered. Lieutenant Chen, noticing the alien's discomfort, decided to change the subject. So why don't you show us around? We're eager to learn about our new post and how we can best contribute to the security of Nexus 7, Ashi. Xork, seizing the opportunity to move past the utensil discussion, nodded enthusiastically. Yes, of course, right this way. We'll start with the command center. As the group moved off, Xork and Blorp brought up the rear, still exchanging worried glances. Blorp leaned in close to Xork, his gelatinous form undulating with concern. Did you hear that? Blorp whispered. They brought their own utensils. What are we going to do? And that game thing he called baseball. Xork's scales shifted to a deep blue of determination. We'll just have to be extra vigilant, keep an eye on those multi-tools, and maybe we should requisition some additional padding for the walls and ceilings just in case. Yes, uh, agree. Did you see that ball thing? It looked like it could kill? Remember to never play a game with a human? I think it's code for, I want to hurt you. They are very clever, hiding that weapon as a game. Blorp agreed. As they followed the humans, both alien guards couldn't shake the feeling that their carefully crafted safety measures were about to be put to the test. The arrival of these resourceful and potentially dangerous new teammates marked the beginning of what promised to be a very interesting and possibly hazardous new chapter in the history of Nexus 7.